Hello and welcome. Let's build our first CTF challenge today. It's going to be a web challenge. So let's get it going. All right, so I already created the uh, Docker file here and if we go and type type <laughs> and uh, inside the Docker file, you see that I only have this from Apache from PHP, sorry, 7.2 with Apache. So it's an image I installed. I have been running the file with the, uh, the, the docker build command, you know, a docker build with a tag T to give the tag name and basically just uh, point it towards the, the, the dot. So it's the where I run the command from, then we run this uh, docker file right there. So docker build tag T and you give it like the tag name that you decide to do. And inside the images, you can see that it's right here. It's called HTTP PHP and the tag is HTTP PHP child one. And that is really just it, you know, the name for now doesn't really matter, you can always change it, but now that we have that, you know, we have the image, we need to run it as a container and 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 make a challenge out of it. So it should be something easy, easy piece of challenge. And I'm thinking today we're gonna do like a um, some web hash dash something encryption challenge. So something that is local, doesn't require any sort of connections, you know, doesn't really require a lot, it's a web page. It's easy challenge, it's called you know, hashing something. So let's get out of this and do like a, um, let's uh, run the, uh, so let's do a Docker images. And here we can see that the, the name of the container is, uh, is 82 BA. And the way it works in Docker is the image ID is the I, unique identified GIF, the images, and don't use these tag name, report name, it doesn't really, it's just gonna mess up things, but, so basically you're gonna, you're gonna have to, to run this with the command up here, so we're gonna do like Docker run, let's just give it from the, uh, take it from the, uh, the shortcut here, so I have it right here, so basically we just did Docker run, D for, inter uh, D for the, uh, the, uh, the daemon it, it's a daemon, and uh, I for interactive, and the T is, I don't quite remember them all right now, but I know it's, it's you need to do these letters. And the P is for uh, the port, and we expose port 80 to port 80, so basically it's just a one-to-one -one port forwarding. So uh, I'm gonna press enter now, and you get the new identifier, this is my Docker PS, and you see you have your Docker container running right here. So what I could do now is probably go into the local host, just like this, local host, and you're gonna get some something like this. So it's forbidden, and but it's a, actually a good message because you can see it, it actually works right now. So we should decide right now how should this challenge be created? Uh, do we need to create something like do we need to run GoBuster for example to do some uh, directory brute forcing, directory you know look for directory stuff, or should we just give them the actual challenge? So I think what we're gonna do is create this a non 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 explorable you know room I'm gonna create something easy simple you know maybe even use md5 hash or something and maybe maybe make it like more like a riddle so the learning goal of this room should be to learn how to brute force hashes in a way so they can use crack station in this easy challenge I guess so we can just find something easy now, how we should do that is, I don't really don't know, but maybe just collect a flag in some way. So if we go to like MD5 hash online and do like, you know, take anything, how should our flag look like? Is it security in mind to, you know, squiggly and then do like this and then is, the flag, I guess that could be the flag, you know, just to something funny. And then we could like say that we need to find three parts of it. And this could be the parts, you know, the way you should combine it should be straight straight forward because the ending of the trailing and the starting of the curly brackets. So we could generate that and you get like, uh, one hash each 
and then we could go to uh well the thing is i <laughs> this is uh this is this is gonna work because I'm just thinking, you know, this flag will not be in um, a crack station unless we can supply it in some way, you know. And I'm not really sure if we can. So maybe it should be easier. Maybe we should create like a really difficult, you know, folder for them to to guess and make some hashes you know we could do that so maybe we could do something like i will pull up paint now so let's see let's see do, 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 do. what we could do is for example say that so you need to access slash secret but secret is too easy and we'll find it with a directory scan so it could be something like three hashes they need to like combine the way it could be like secret one two three password some of that or secret one two three maybe flag so we would need to md5 hash or secret one two three and flag i think that would be easier for us to 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 go with so if we go to to this here and we take this you know we could just put it in here for now i guess and we're gonna take the what is it a secret i'm gonna go to crack station and say like this is a string we copy paste it put it in another robot you will find it so that's good and it would be secret one two three put it in there and the name would be the word flag i don't think that is a part of the word list that they're going to use for go bust anyways i'm just going to find all three so there we have it the three hashes and basically what we could do is you go to notepad now and take the three hashes and say this is secret, let me just zoom for a bit. And this is one, two, three. And that would be the flag. Would that not be right? So let me just check it out. And that is exactly true. This is the, the hashes. So now we need to, in some way, present these three hashes to the user so they think, oh, I need to, you know, find something or do something with it, you know, and and this is where the challenge is, is to verify, you know, what kind of, what to do with this hash. And this is an easy room, like a very, very easy room, I guess. So you shouldn't really have a lot of stuff going on. So what we should do now is just go back here and we need to get a bash shell to this particular container. So I'm going to copy paste the container name and go Docker run X, uh, sorry, not Docker, Docker exec for execute interactive shell on this container, I want to have a bash shell. I have a bash shell, we have nothing there. So what we should do is in some way get the, um, uh, do we have wget installed? No. Um, in some way get a file there and it should be presenting these, you know, kind of, we have vi, no. Can we apt install vi? If it's the upgrade, if it's the update, yeah, so we can update it. Can I install nano? Yes, we can. So let's touch a file called index.php and nano into index.php and we can do everything we want. So we could do something like uh, h1 simple web page you know really simple web page nothing crazy welcome to challenge the hash i guess you could call it and then i'm gonna go in and say like a p tag for paragraph and say can you figure out the secret folder name to get the flag 
and then we're gonna supply the different kind of you know hashes and it's gonna be straightforward just copy paste them go back paste it in can we we can paste there we go and then maybe I guess that's it we can go to the to web page now to localhost and now we have it here so okay we need to do some yeah we need to put in breaks because this is just normal you know lines of, of hashes so we're gonna break it not need the last one now we have it welcome to challenge the hash can you figure out the secret folder name to get the flag so then we can go out and make a directory called secret want to see flag and go into that folder and we're going to touch a file called flag.txt and go into the nano and do h1 h1 just like that and say congratula congratulations congrats and then a p tag just like that and say you found the secret flag here it is and we're gonna take the flag now and it's somewhere where did i put it oh it's in the uh, word file so it's gonna be this particular thing Boop. and then they can take the flag and they don't so basically that's it so let's go ahead and test it so we find these three hashes and we go like oh copy paste we go crack station and you like secret one two three flag i'm thinking why not do that and then we have forbidden and then we have to go flag that text i guess and then we have it congrats you found it so how to find the flag dot text of the thing so we need to figure out you know what would be the best way for them to to find that and for that particular case we can open up linus kaylee here and just say what we need to do is basically to go into a terminal right here and clear screen and say stuff like what is inside the word list rock you grab flag the text is that a thing no is the word flag a thing yes there is probably a word called flag somewhere but the text thing is uh, not there. So what do we need to do? Let me just get a lot of flags. What we need to do now is to make sure that we have the word flag. So what we could do, let me just see, can I ping this machine? So it will probably have the IP address of, so we're gonna do Docker PS and Docker in, what? Oh, um, so we're gonna say exit and Docker PS and say Docker inspect this here. And we're gonna get the IP address, which is 172, whoops. 17 zero, so 17 zero two. Can I ping this? I cannot. Can I go to localhost here? Yeah, we're not in the same. We are not in the same at all. So what if I just do 80? No. All right, so what, what, what would probably be needed to be done here is we could supply them with some, some idea, but we can also just say that this is too much already, I guess. So what we could do is just say, let's go back into the container and inside the secret flag, let's move this flag to index PHP. So whenever they supply this here, they just gonna get congrats and they have the flag. So this secret one to the flag does not exist. I don't believe it. This is the challenge. This is our first room. So that machine is ready to be shipped. So what we do now is, is go in and say, uh, you can take the Docker desktop and have the running container here and just stop it. Now don't, don't, um, 
Don't delete it because if you delete this one here, all the work we did will will, come, will will go away. So what we need to do is to go ahead and find the Docker commit command I have somewhere in the history here because I'm still learning Docker. So I um, probably don't have it. So let me just go back here and say commit. So what we can do is like Docker commit the image name. Whoops. You can see here docker commit image name and then give it a new name so basically we're gonna go ahead and say docker ps uh, we have to notice the there it's still yes so we still have it here 31 as you can see the the the, the hash of and code pasted so basically we can say like docker commit and we're gonna call it um, first challenge, save it. Now we should have this as an image right here and we have the first challenge, it's the latest. Um, so what we do now is say, well, I guess we can just keep it. I misspelled it. So if you did that, you just take it, remove it. And you do web chal one the hash. There we have it. That is the right name. So now we have it right here. Let's go right back. There we go. It says web chal one the hash, and that is our first capture the flag challenge. This is how I created it with Docker. And the next one I'm gonna do, not really sure yet. This was the first one. The easy one but you know we have to start the easy and create a good amount of easy challenges to build up you know the the audience um commitment towards you know gaining more knowledge and then choosing like a medium or hard you know in the end and getting better and better so i want to say that i really hope you like this video and i will do more docker creating my own ctf uh, soon so i want to say have a really nice day and see you again online